Hey Lions, didn't see you there. I'm Matt Lasser. Hey Lions, welcome back to another episode of Open Dead. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Grace Chiglow. We have an interesting show for you today. On our campus, we have some great Lions who help out our handicapable students. Let's take a look. Peer Buddies is a program offered here at Reedy, including our handicapable students. You become a Peer Buddy uh, by talking to your counselor and finding out if there's any availability and then they'll have you fill out paperwork and then you just wait for the process. The Peer Buddies program is more of a class activity and generally aligned with our partners PE. We also have them participate in the Special Olympics activities that we do with the students, which is bowling and track and field, and in some cases, basketball. Wow, we have some great volunteers on our campus. Now, let's see what our editors put together for episode two of Athletes Act. We know our athletes are ready to take on the opponent on the field, but are they ready to tackle a Hollywood movie script? Let's find out in this week's edition of Athletes Act. This week, Jurassic Park. No. <laughs> I'm the girl? Yeah, yes. of course you are. So you We're in the kitchen. We have to hide in cabinets. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. What if we can't fit in the cabinet? Over. Yeah. Rip over. This is where, yeah, ready and go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it turned on? No, not yet. Oh, man. I wish you could see how stupid you look right now. I gotta now. turn my... Oh, you do have to run no, for you're not really running. You're like crawling. We're crawling. Oh, and I gotta take my keys out. Yeah, I gotta... And gotta my chat ready for this. Oh, okay. This is awful. This is awkward. Jimmy, get your... <laughs> my nose is too. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. I can see now. All right, come on, walk on over. Jack's dying. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. All right. Can you guys see? Can you see, Dom? No. <laughs> what is it? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> Wait, that's two kids. Those are both guys, right? No. No, that's a girl. Oh, my bad. I thought it was Edit a that out. first. <laughs> <laughs> Take one. Action. I think there's a dinosaur in here. No, there isn't. It's, it's a velociraptor. Nope. <laughs> Roar. Roar. Like, it's like, you're like, you're louder, like, like it's loud. It's like from the um, movie uh, Madagascar, and it's like Alex the Lion, and then. Roar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Take three and action. I think there's a dinosaur. It's a Velociraptor. Follow me. Okay. Oh, oh, he's right there. He's right there! We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! We gotta go! Oh my god! 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 I we're about bit. to take off. I bit. Alright, let's go. I can't see. I can't see. I'm gonna lock him in this room over here. Sounds good. here on campus. Let's go check out their work. Um, the trainers help with injuries and like handing out water during practices or during games and like we take care of any kind of athletic injury and you have to take sports medicine and athletic training. So um, the trainers, we are at football practices every day in games and we go to winter practices, um, winter sports, and we are there 
with water and we have our packs on with um, like all the necessary equipments we need, gauze, tape, pre-wrap, um, and the classes we have to take are sports medicine, the first year you are a trainer and you learn about all the ligaments, bones, and muscles and what type of injuries occur to each one. Um, we tape ankles and wrists and everything that happens before the game that needs to be taped. And we fill coolers and waters for the varsity and JV and freshman games. Um, and we had to take a class called Sports Medicine where we learn about the anatomy of the body and how to help injuries on the field. I want to be a trainer because um, I did sports. I've done sports all my life and I thought that I want to know because I got injured and so I want to know like what happened and go more in depth and help other people. Um, I wanted to be a trainer because I want to be part of the medical field when I'm older and um, you know just be like in that kind of field. Well whenever we get hurt or anything we need our ankle taped or like arm taped when we get cut they're always there and um, anytime someone's bleeding they're always there to help us because you can't go on the field when you're bleeding and so if we have to come out for a play they're always there ready to get us back in the game quick. The hardest part about being a trainer is probably like learning everything just because it takes like time to practice like taping and stuff like that and getting it down right just to make sure that you're protecting like a wound or an injury like the correct way instead of like causing someone more damage. I think the hardest part about being a trainer is um, when an athlete gets hurt you have to know what to do and what tests to perform and um, you, have, you just have to know the whole anatomy of the body. One practice during spring ball um, I had a guy hurt his foot um, and it was my job to take him off the field, bring him inside, look at it, make sure he's okay, perform some tests, and then once we realized it was a little worse, Coach Rowan Kachik step in, walk you through it and help you, and then it was just fit him for a boot. And then with him, I kind of followed his like recovery. So like either like yelling at him to do his rehab or um, setting up the game ready. Our athletic trainers put in a lot of work. You know who else puts in a lot of work? Our very own Penny Sachs, who made a new rap about our new school dress code. Okay, okay, it's Penny Stacks on the track. All right, at RHS, you can't wear those clothes even if you wanted to. This is Reedy, that's restricted. You must follow all the rules if you get caught. This is what you get, school issued Reedy wear. Only comes in one color, so you don't have to choose. I don't violate, I follow all the rules. I wear proper clothes, you should wear them too. APCU and they don't speak. Dress code violations, got you. I assess, that's what's next. Miss Lil Coke makes all the rules. Hey, yo, lions, listen up. If you violate, you get stopped. If you walk in the hallway, don't hang around a block. APs check your monitors. They on watch, on watch, on watch. He put his hand up in that bag and then he flick, he flick, he flick. Oh, just keep the fuck pants and go. Now you're in dress code. Boys don't wear those tanks keep your arms covered up crop tops are a no i just remember one thing saggy pants got to go too much cleavage is a no i came to let you know that none of you lions are safe hey it's penny stacks on the track we have some great talent here on the open den team grace let's hear the announcements for the week well tonight is meet the teacher night and tomorrow there is a tennis match here at Reedy versus Centennial. Our volleyball team is also looking to dominate Centennial. On Thursday, there is a JV tennis match at Centennial, and our diving team has a meet at the Natatorium. And Friday, volleyball is home versus Liberty. Also, don't forget, Friday's the last day of the six weeks, so make sure your grades are where they need to be. For Open Den, I'm Grace Chiglow. And I'm Amanda Hall. Have a good day, Lions.